Greetings. Greetings. I'm Cooper McBeth. And to my right is Uta Frenberg. And sitting at one of the tables with you is the lovely Alexis Kamala. And she's going to be filming this. And what we're going to try to do is we actually do math um, education in here. And the reason that we came to Second Life is it's the only place so far, or an open sim, a virtual world, where we can actually explore the visual um, part of the brain. Uh, it's called the parietal region of the brain. And we need to trigger that. And we have found out over the last two years of researching in here that we really have found a way to help people understand math and algebra very quickly and easily. Uh, your own instructor, Rosalind, was in one of our sites maybe about 18 months ago. And I remember her explaining, oh my God, I can see the equation. I can't believe I'm an English person. I don't see this stuff. And it was just so precious. And ever since then, we've been good friends with Rosalind. And so she asked us to kind of go over some of our, what we're doing. And I'm not really going to try to cover the math. But what I'm going to try to do is show you some of the educational tools that we've developed. And this one, in this setting here, we're looking at one of our group tools and how we can actually use Second Life to facilitate understanding. So we're going to go through some exercises. Uh, the first one I want to do is I'm going to, if everybody is hit escape, type a Y if you're looking at us. I just need to make sure everybody can hear us and that they can respond. So type a Y in chat. And how many people should, how many Y's should I see? I have three, four. Eleven. Waiting for a Y. Just a Y is all I need. Yes, it's fine. I understand that one. There are 11 of us. So everybody but Uta and I will, and Alexis should be responding. So I got three, six, nine so far. And Roslyn, can you help us? Uh, because in, a, in an educational environment, you really want to make sure everybody can hear and everybody's responding. And I only see nine. You can look at the names, Roslyn, on the chat and help us find those the three that aren't that aren't there yet. Okay, so I'll read them off. I got IW, Mark, I got Roslyn, Mark, Malarka, Cascadina, Lampool, <laughs> B. Summers, John, Danielle, and Slinger. No one is piping up. Well, now that you know their names, can you pipe up on the ones that haven't responded? <laughs> okay. What I want you to do is, we're going to do some interactive stuff here. And this is going to show you how you can direct attention to somebody. You can get a response, and everybody can see kind of what the responses are. Okay, so we're good, all nine. Okay, so there's only nine of us. Oh, 12. She's counted the three of us. Okay. So I'm going to take you back to your table. Right now, you should be looking at your table. And I want you to look at the color of the plate that's right in front of you. Get a good visual image of what that color is. And now I'm going to take you to a voting board. And we'll play with this voting board for a little bit. On the voting board, I want you to click on the color of the plate that's in front of you. I see a red one. Okay, I see three people voted, four, five. Okay, you just click on the color, the big button. I see seven have voted so far. Eight. There should be ten voting now because we have Alexis. She voted two to help. Um, so I see four and six. There we go. There's ten. So I see three of you are sitting at the red plate, three are at the green plate, two are at the magenta plate, and two are at the blue plate. This device up here is very easy for getting uh, multiple choice answers back. And we can actually, I'll show you how many can totally vote. There it is totally loaded. Uh, Second Life doesn't support this, but there are actually 99 uh, different choices up there. So let me clear the board. Let's go through a quick little learning exercise that we do to help people um, understand something about numbers. So if you look at your plates, I'm going to put some sushi. I'm going to serve up some sushi. And what I want you to do is 
look at it, and I want you to figure out what plate has only four sushi on it. Now, you need to be focusing. Make sure you're looking at your plates, because I'm only going to let you look at your plate for a little bit. And I'm going to take you up to the voting board. So this is a quick response. Are you ready? Here we go. Look at your plate. I'm going to serve the sushi now. Okay, you got three seconds to find the one that's got four on it. I think we're done. We're up to the voting board. And go ahead and vote. Which plate color had four in it? Okay, are some of you just waiting to see what everybody else picks? Ah, oh, there we go, an aqua one. That's good, nice bold one there. Okay, let's go back and actually look at our plate a little longer. Uh, Rosalind, you click, but you don't see your name. Did you click on the color? Okay. Yeah, that's why we get the feedback, so that you can tell whether you voted. It won't let you vote twice. Everybody can try. Go ahead and try to pick another color and vote. So it just, it just won't let you vote too many times. So you get one vote and only one vote. And we're looking at a lot of enhancements to this. There's a lot of capability in here from taking clicker technology. Nothing new. You can do kind of clicker technology in the real world. Uh, now let's go back and look at our plates. Let me clear off our voter board. And let's go back and look at the plates. And what I'm going to do now, uh, let's get the little, get them all cleared off for you. Now, I, again, I'm only going to give you a few seconds, but I want you to tell me which plate has eight on it. Are you ready? Which plate has eight on it? Okay, up to the voting board. Uh, some of you are saying, no, I was counting. I don't know which one had eight. And some of you are wrong and some of you are right. And, uh, you know, be careful about following somebody. You know, they may not be right. And I'm waiting for two more, three more voters. If Alexis is voting, that'll give us like 10. You can see right now we have eight. Eight voted. And what we're trying to show here is when the numbers are small, uh, research shows that uh, anybody, we even have children and mammals and pigeons and it's, it's part of our brain that we can quickly see little numbers. Uh, but when we're, when the numbers get bigger, and let's go back and just look at these. Six and three, somebody remember that. We had six reds and three magenta and uh, cyan. And it took you all a while. So let's go back and let's look at our plate. And as you're looking at your plate, you see that it does take you a little bit of time to figure out which one has it because the numbers are getting larger. All the research now is trying to expand in this way called approximate number sense. And they're trying to put really big numbers and see how close people can get. They're not looking for exactly. But, uh, okay, give you a little longer. Our sushis are still gray, okay. They put me in the oldest computer. Okay, I will give you a little bit longer. Just like 10 seconds. Well, what we don't want to do, Rosalind, is have people start counting them. Or trying, so this is an interesting experiment with old computers. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to make this a lot easier, though. Everybody go ahead and look. Try not to count. Do you see which one has seven in it? Look for the one that has seven. Don't count. And let's go back over here. And they should have rezzed by now. So type in the one that's got seven. So when you're given more time, you can actually go through and count. You can look at it. So this is just an attribute of how the eye works. Now I'm going to take you back to your plate. And this time, I'm going to change how they're ordered. And I want you to tell me which plate has eight in it this time. Ready. You want me to give you 10 seconds? Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. To the voting board. I only got seven votes. Did we lose two of your... There we go. And what I'd like you to do is 
type a Y in the chat if it was a lot easier to determine which one had eight in it when they're organized. Hmm. Our research has showed that it's much easier. There's something in the brain that gets triggered when you have organization. We know that you're not multiplying two by four and getting eight. You just, your eye can look at it. It organizes it uh, because it aligns with vertical and horizontal patterns. And what we've done is we've taken that knowledge, and now we're going to take you up to the board. So this is going to be a little different did want, experience. Cooper, did you want to look oh. at a couple of slides? Because I've got some slides here that will. Oh, yeah. We wanted to show you some slide capabilities so that we could interact with those. Let me take you to the slides. And we'll give this about 10 seconds to res. And this is the first slide. That we'll start with. That you want to show? Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Talk for a bit. Okay, this is um, something that uh, Stanislaus Dehane has done research on, and um, babies at three weeks old can recognize up to three, and without the knowledge of numbers or counting, 